Right then guys, hello and welcome back to another video. So, firstly, do not adjust your sets. This hoodie really is this orange. But uh, hey, it's pretty cool though. <laughs> Right, so you join me again today in the garage. Don't worry, it's not going to be another techie garage video. I'm sure a lot of you already follow Nige and the Pinder Wagon, so you may well have seen his talking laps that he started doing. Doing a lap of a track with commentary of what you're doing. It's to explain to other people what you're doing, but also to make you think a bit more about what you're doing and the inputs you're making and what you think the car's going to do. So Nige has been doing these all year. We were having a really good day at Snetterton with RMA, Nice jumped in the passenger seat for a couple of laps, and a few laps in, he collared me. Coming round Coram, we're going to do a talking lap now. So yeah, before I show you my attempt, I'm going to put in a clip of Nige doing it properly now. So you can see sort of predicting what he's going to do when he's on and off the brakes, what gear he's in, lines he's taking, and it talks you through and it just makes you think about what you're doing. So I'm going to chuck in a clip of me doing my first and only attempt of a talking lap around a wet Snetterton on Yokohama AO 52s. Right, on this next lap, yeah. talk loudly and try and talk what you're doing. Because oh, I'm going to do it when I'm driving. He's going to get me on it by making me do it. Right, so we're coming into Murray's, we're going to cross the dry line very badly now. Feel 
stable as it has done at all. Interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> so it had been drying out. We'd been on Pilot Sport 4 most of the morning. We'd just gone on to AO 52s, but it was still a fair struggle to get any rear tyre temperature, and it made the car fairly leery as a result. But, uh, yeah, what a really cool experience. So it forces you to think ahead about what's going to happen. You think about the inputs you're going to make and what the car's going to do. So when you're predicting that the back end's going to move and stuff, it kind of it makes you think about that and it almost it helps you to identify bad habits within your own driving. So I tend to drive very much on instinct and feel um, rather than thought. What I do comes naturally to me and as a result I pick up quite a lot of bad habits that I don't want to be doing. So talking through it actually makes me think about what I'm doing, both what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. Um, quite often as we come into Oggies we talk about trail braking in to get the rotation, but as the car starts to rotate, you naturally steer into it and end up wide. Whereas if you just left that rotation and got back on the power, you should pull out really nicely. Um, didn't manage it on that lap, obviously. So it's really, really different. So Nigel's done a couple where you see mad manic tracks like Cadwell or Knock Hill, where they are absolutely go, 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 just constant speaking. Snetterton in the wet, a little bit calmer, a few more straights. So it's kind of a good one for me to uh, practice first. But yeah, overall, really cool experience. Definitely something I'm going to do again because I definitely feel it helps you to learn and identify what you're doing wrong. Um, as well as right, I guess. It's not all bad, apart from maybe that lap. A couple of people commented about the snap video that there was an awful lot of sideways and an awful lot of moments. It wasn't a day of moments, but that's what we put in the video because that's the entertaining stuff that we think you guys want to see. For those that just want to see some straight up laps, I'm going to throw in a fairly decent lap as it was drying out mid-afternoon, still on the AO 52s, so I'm going to chuck that up now.
slides and fails. If that's what you guys want to see, then great. If you'd rather see a bunch of footage of a load of clean laps, please drop a comment down below. We want to make sure we're providing what it is that you want to see. So yeah, a bit of a little bonus video this week. Um, nothing sort of vloggy, but don't worry, we're going to get back to it fairly soon. After this, you're hopefully going to be seeing how things went when we went to Donington recently with Track Obsession. Another extremely cool day. If you've made it this far, then thank you very much. Quite a lot of you still haven't actually subscribed to the channel. About 75% of people watching. And if you've watched this many minutes of me jabbering on, eh, you might want to think about it. I hope you guys are like this one. Please don't forget to tune in next week to check out how things went at Donington. Otherwise, wrap up warm. It's getting cold out there. Have fun, and I'll see you soon. Take care, guys.